So today, we are talking about this man, Kevin Goddamn Durant. We are going to see how he would do on some of the other teams we were talking about. If he was on that team this season that just passed. So, like, how would this how would this team have been in the season before? Like, if we added Kevin Durant to the Warriors, would they have won the title? Or if we added him to the Lakers or whatnot? And then we're going to see, kind of like, we'll change some things around, like, because the Warriors will most likely not have Harrison Barnes if they were to sign a guy like Kevin Durant, which I don't really think that's going to happen, but we'll see how that goes. First off here, we're going to check out the Warriors. I've released a couple of the players that would probably be gone in the free agency. I don't know, obviously you can't tell who's definitely going to be gone and who wouldn't be gone, but Harrison Barnes is no longer there, and neither is uh, Maurice Spates, some of the bigger names for them. And Kevin Durant leads the Golden State Warriors to a record, record-breaking 75 wins and 7 losses, and he's the league's MVP. Carl Anthony Towns still wins Rookie of the Year. DeAndre Jordan always gets traded. I don't, I don't even have anything to say about that. And there you see it, Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year. All NBA First Team. Durant makes it. He's injured right now, apparently. Steph Curry makes the All-NBA second team, and that's the two Warriors. And then Klay Thompson makes the All-Defensive first team. Draymond Green makes the All-Defensive second team. So all the starting five get accolades. And then you see the Thunder. Let's check out the Thunder's roster. Russell Westbrook was out for two months with a broken ankle. Victor Oladipo, who I made sure I put in at least one big trade for them, no longer have Serge Ibaka. Instead, they have Victor Oladipo. Also put on Ilya Sova. And his cancer is out. So, let's check out the player stats. First for the, uh, the Thunder, we'll check theirs out. Westbrook had 21. Ilyasova had 14.5. Oladipo had 13.3. 6.4 assists. So did Russell Westbrook. So, Oladipo didn't have a fantastic year, but he's still young. Now we'll check out the Warriors. Kevin Durant, we saw his earlier. 27.4. Just barely edging out Steph Curry, who had 27.2. Almost in... Oh, uh, wait, no. Eight offensive rebound or no, eight rebounds. What am I saying? 5.5 for Steph Curry. 7.5 five assists for Steph. 7.4, whatever. Almost five assists for Kevin Durant a game. Two steals and 1.4. A block a game. So, I mean, those two together, it's dangerous. Klay Thompson's not far behind either. 26.2. Draymond goes down. Or does he go down? Let's see. His minutes went up a little bit. And his scoring is barely down from the year before. His rebounds are way up. His assists are up even more. So everybody seems to have benefited pretty much. I mean, Iguodala maybe? Let's see his... Did his scoring go down at all? Not, not really. It went up from the last season. So, nobody seems to have, like, lost out from this trade. And they're a record-breaking. Okay, let's see if both guys go on to the next round. The Thunder. Ooh. They barely make it. Scrape by the Pelicans. Okay. See these two teams right against each other now. Game one. Warriors. Game two. Warriors. Three to the Warriors. And the Thunder are gone. Check out the stats from the last game. Cameron Payne actually drops the most points. Westbrook balled out, but wasn't enough. He didn't really miss that much. Cameron Payne took a lot of shots. Holy hell. Oladipo, I guess, he must have been injured for that last game. I don't know how long he was injured for, so. Let's see. Cavaliers and the Pistons in the finals. Or Eastern Conference Finals. I have no reason to believe the Warriors even... Yep. 
that's their first. They take their first loss of the playoffs in the in the Western Conference Finals, and they're going up against the Cavaliers, who also only have one loss. Now this is it. Would they with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond win Game One, win Game Two. Cavaliers win a game. Cavaliers tie it up. Game three of the Warriors. The, the, I think this game would be in Cleveland. And in Cleveland, Le, does LeBron want it bad enough to go over there, Kevin Durant? He does. Holy hell, I did not expect that. Either way, same result. Warriors, oh my god. LeBron James' will is too strong to lose to even Kevin Durant and the Warriors. Holy shit. I did not expect that. Wow, okay. Crazy. Warriors break their own record, but then they still can't beat the damn Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals. So this season was just destined to go to LeBron. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you absolutely write that like and subscribe button. I'll see you all next time.